Hey Jackals, in today's video, we'll take a look how to make custom templates in DaVinci Resolve 18.1. And what's good about these templates is that you can change all of the elements that you see. Now let's get digital. Now we'll be making something like this. It has an animation and it consists of a video or an image, a frame and some rope. Now you can make the elements in Fusion if that is what you want. So this is a frame that I made with a bunch of nodes, but we can simply use images and I'll be using images because I want to show you something new that was added in DaVinci Resolve 18.1. So for the images, I have three image frames, different ones for different occasions. And I also have three chains to go with the frames. And now let's actually make the template. Go to the media pool, right click, make a new fusion composition. You can give it a name and change the duration to what you want. Or maybe use 10 seconds. Put it onto a timeline and go into the Fusion page. Now in the Fusion page, you'll want to use all of the elements that you actually want to use. So in the media pool, I already have the frame and I'll be using this rope. We can also rename these nodes, so F2. Now usually I put a background node. Now my resolution is 2560 by 1440 and I could change this to 1920 by 1080 if I so choose, but I'll keep it to default. And then in the background, simply lower the alpha to zero so you have everything transparent. So this is my starting position and you usually want to have the merge, background will be in the back, connected like so, and everything that will do will come in the front. And the video clip, connect everything up and see what we have. And I'll rename this media to video and it has to be in the back. So this composition is in the front. Now the first thing that I'll do is for the video clip to be inside this frame. I'll simply use the transfer node and when this arrow turns to blue and you release the node, it gets automatically connected. And now I can simply use the size to scale this down. And I could also uncheck the size and aspect and change these values to what I actually want. Now I have to move the rope, so I'll also use a transfer node. Position it to where I want it, maybe something like this. So now I'll simply copy this transfer, paste an instance of it, connect the rope like so. And now this frame has to be connected differently. So this transform will go here. So this is the rope and this is now the frame and like so. So now I have two ropes or chains and I have to move one to this side. So in the instance transform, I will right click on the center and the instance it. And this will allow me to move this center X position. If I didn't do that, let me show you with the angle what happens. Both elements will move with the same values. So that is why I instance them, position it like so. Now for the frame, you may not have the same size all of the time. So you can also put a transfer node here and change the name so that you know what it is. And when you make macro, when we'll do the export, you can enable all of the options that you want. And most likely you want to use the center position and the X and Y size separately so that you can adjust it to the video clip that you will have inside. You can also do the same for the video, but if need be, you can also have two transforms. So you can use this one for the animation if you'll have a special kind of animation and then you use the second one for the macro so that you change the X and Y size separately so it doesn't mess with the actual animation. So because of that, I'll simply uncheck this and scale it to the X and Y values that I want. But this is not needed. I'm just showing you what you can do. So this is now basically done. We just need the animation. So we can make the actual animation in the merge. As you can see, the chain is a little bit longer. So we can now put this element maybe here. So it's out of the screen. Start the animation at frame 30, keyframe the Y value, at frame, let's say 
44, this will come down. And then maybe at frame 48, it will bounce a tiny bit up. So let's see how the animation looks like. I think it's okay. Now if you want to make this special, you can. In this case, we can adjust the size separately. So X size and Y size. So at this point, frame 44. In this case, it will be the X size. Now it doesn't make sense for the chain to stretch or shrink, but we can do that. Now, because I've made the animation inside the transfer nodes, these two, because this is an instance, this one behaves the same. As you can see, it does. It also has the animation. And because of that, I'll use a different transfer node so that I can actually position these two chains or ropes individually. Because if you have different images, the chain might be here and one might be here and you have to position them inside or you just may have one chain displayed. So you do need transforms to position the chains. This all depends on the images that you use. It's the same with the frame. So if I make an animation at this point, let's say I also stretch it in the Y axis. If I then made any kind of adjustments in the edit page, I would be messing with the actual animation. So I also put a transfer node here and I'll be basically using these transforms to make any kind of adjustments inside the edit page. Now, because this is moving and basically most of the animation happens in the merge, we can go to the settings and apply motion blur. Then you can apply as much as you want. Now, if you want to reverse this animation, you can do that with the merge node selected and go to the modifiers you should be able to see the displacement because this is what is animated. We can right click and go to insert, anim curves, anim curves. And inside here, we can simply mirror the animation. But as you can see, it's not acting like it should. So it's an issue with the video because it's not as long. This one's long enough. So let me try to replace it. and the animation work like it's supposed to. So then if you go into the edit page and make this clip shorter, the animation should work as you see it does. So that's how you can make the animation reversible easily. And I'll simply rename this media in node to video. And I think that's about it. If I have forgotten anything, I'll also let you know once I make the macro. So now we'll select all of the nodes that we want to be able to change and first select the nodes that are animated. So all of these nodes we will not select them, but search for them. So in this case, I don't have any animation, but I could animate the Y size, maybe something like this. So now these transforms all have animations and these ones do not. And the last merge also has an animation. So now what I'll do, is I'll start with the frame, hold control, click on this transform, then I'll use drop, press these two transforms, the video, this transform, and then we can select all of the other nodes as we see fit. Just select all of them, except the media out. Then right click on the last node in the composition, and in this case, it's the merge one. Go to macro, and make one. You can give the template a name, but you don't have to at this point, you can do it at the end. Now on top I have the frame. This is the first node that I've selected. And what do I want to be able to change in the frame? Well, it's something that was added in DaVinci Resolve 18.1 and it's clip name. Now I'll also change what this will say, frame image. So what this will do is it will make something like this. Instead of layer, it will say frame image and then we'll have a field in which we'll put the image from the media pool. So we don't need to change anything else. Then we have this transform. We want to be able to change the center position, the size, and maybe also change the aspect. 
and then change the X and Y size separately. And if you also want, you can also change the angle. In this case, I won't be doing that. And because center doesn't mean much, I'll type in frame in front so that I know this will actually move the frame. Next we have drop, also enable the clip name, change it, and again in the transform, we'll change the center size and we can also change the aspect X and Y sizes. Do the same for transform 5 and you can also rename it so that you know what it is. So rope left. Then we have the video. We'll also enable the clip name. Now this doesn't need to be a video. It can also be an image. And in the transform, which is this one, we'll also enable the center, size, aspect, and X and Y sizes. And call this video. I think that's it. Now I'll go to file, save as group. If you use save as group, will have all of the nodes available. If you use save as, all of these nodes will be merged together and you won't be able to see what's actually inside. So save as group, go to fusion, templates, edit. Now this could also be an effect that you simply put on a clip, but I want this to be a title so that I can put it onto a timeline and then put all of the clips and images that I want inside the title. I already have one here and I'll simply name this tutorial so that we have a different one. Close it. And now in the edit page, I should be able to see it. So go to effects, type the name of the template. Now I don't really know why this is actually only five seconds long because this was 10 seconds, but as you can see, it does work as it should. Now with the title selected, Let's say that we want to change all of the elements. We can simply do this in the edit page. So go to inspector and we'll see a bunch of fields. So we have frame image, rope image, video clip, and the positions that we can change. So now I'll simply change this chain with maybe this one. And as you can see, it's off. So that is why I want to be able to change the X and Y positions. And maybe before I do that, I should actually also put this frame on. And then we have the clip. Let me change it. So this is why I want to be able to change the size of the clip. And how about this one? This one's way big. Go to the default values. Nope. And as you can see, the animation actually stays as it was. Now, if you made the template in this way, the default template will work as it does in the current project. Let me open a new one. So I'll drop it on. And as you can see, nothing is found. Of course, because I don't have any images and videos. So I can change this. And then let's see, do I have any images? No. So I'll just put a video clip and a video clip and this actually works but if you wanted to have the default template always visible so in my case that would be maybe with the chains then in the template what you would have to do instead of media ins you would then have to use a loader node open the image file that you want for default so in this case maybe this chain for the frame and this one for the rope and you would use this instead of this. So this is how the animation looks like and you can also adjust it. If you go to settings and use the transform and position. So I'll keyframe the position and maybe do it like this. And that's it on the customizable templates. If you found the video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification icon so you know when my next video comes out. I'm Simon, and until next time, Jackals, keep it digital.